Hello, I'm Nina Riccardi, president of South Shore Drill Team's board, and I want to share the story of a special journey team members took on a long weekend to West Virginia last July. Two years ago, the town of Buchanan won the bid to host the World Association of Marching Show Bands competition. Because South Shore Drill Team had marched in the city Strawberry Festival for years, one of the first calls they made was to our executive director, Arthur Robertson, to ask if team members would perform on stage in 2023 and march in the parade. This was a big deal. It was only the second time an American city was chosen to hold this international event, and bands from 13 countries were planning to come. South Shore Drill Team's performance on Friday night was to be the only stage show, and they would march in the parade on Saturday with bands from around the world. Sadly, the trip began on Thursday, July 20th, with the team's older members paying their respects to alum Tyrone Moore, age 25, who was fatally wounded at a July 4th gathering. He last marched with the team in 2021, the young people went to Leek and Son's funeral home on Cottage Grove for 15 minutes at the 9 a.m. wake. This tragedy is why the team always prefers to take the youth out of town over the 4th. It's a particularly dangerous holiday in the neighborhoods where they live. The 10-hour ride to West Virginia began soon afterwards. This was the first four-day trip the team took since 2019 and many of the newer members had never been on a long weekend trip. Staff played portions of Drill Team show videos from 1999 to 2014. The team members got a kick out of watching their instructors perform when they were younger and sang along with the songs. The video was paused to show alumni who now had careers as lawyers, police officers, entrepreneurs, and an alum who recently received an Emmy nomination for lighting design. The bus arrived at a dorm on the West Virginia Wesleyan College campus around 9.30 p.m., just before a thunderstorm rolled in. On Friday, July 21st, the team rehearsed from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Virginia Thomas Law Center for Performing Arts, a 400-seat theater on the campus. They prepared for two back-to-back -back stage shows to perform at 6 and 7.30 p.m. The lighting, sound techs were a father and son team and were extremely helpful. Drill team instructor Crystal Williamson ran the soundboard while the sun did the lighting. The audience was packed with young people from 13 countries. Every seat was filled and people stood in the back of the theater and at the entrance. The applause was overwhelming. Lots of compliments and the group from Canada posted a comment on the team's Instagram page. On Marching.com Facebook page, there were 1,500 expressions, 64 comments, and 203 shares. Team members inhaled 20 pizzas in between the two shows and competed to answer quiz questions about the college, the state, and the other countries represented by the bands. Since the dorm where they were staying did not have air conditioning, there was a question about who invented that. After the second show, the bus took team members downtown Buchanan to a street dance and carnival midway, which many of them had never experienced before. Youth from other countries were there and told them how great their show was. At the parade, South Shore Drill Team received a warm welcome back from the crowd as the team had performed in the town's Strawberry Festival in May for years, but not since 2019. There were 18 bands in the parade, Groups from Taiwan and Switzerland both played John Denver's song about West Virginia, Take Me Home Country Roads. Bands from Honduras, El Salvador, and Japan dressed in colorful native costumes. Dinner, and then time to relax in the evening. Assistant Director Michael Borum talked to the youth about college, and they walked to a huge field behind the dorm. Members could choose to play football, baseball or volleyball, 
and the area was big enough to pay all three simultaneously. Those who didn't want to play watched and walked the bike trail. Despite their busy day, they played their hearts out, running full speed for every ball. You know, travel's costly and a four-day journey is very expensive paying for transportation, lodging, and meals for 50 youth and their instructors. But the value for these young people is priceless. They learned a lot. They met youth from across the globe and they bonded with their teammates. The trip was funded by contributions from folks like you who understand the importance of these youth seeing the world beyond their neighborhood. Thank you for making this possible.